Today at Zateri, new arrivals sit among their meager belongings, awaiting registration. Thousands have come in in the last few days. Children play, oblivious to what awaits them. It was only a few weeks that an unprecedented cold front hit Jordan. Many tents were flooded. Scenes like these, flooded tents and a communal kitchen were all too common. UNHCR, along with its UN partners, is trying not only to accommodate the influx of refugees, but also to cope with the aftermath of the storm. We are trying with partners to get uh, the heating system and also to get uh, um, high thermal blankets and other winterization items to ensure that uh, we, uh, the refugees really get uh, all uh, the warmth that they need at this particular moment. Families were forced to move and take refuge in caravans and tents. Himayid came with his family from the Syrian city of Dara one month ago. He points to where his tent stood before the floods came. Fatima is one of the refugees who went to the school. She came from Dara five months ago, a mother of 14 children and grandmother of 60 grandchildren. She says life is very hard in the camp. UNICEF's school programs have been interrupted while efforts are made to rebuild the destroyed camp area. We have been doing a lot of coordination with our partners and also with UNICEF to be able to assess the, the tent and accommodation um, of these uh, refugees that have moved to the school. Since January, 20,000 people have arrived in Jordan, stretching humanitarian resources to the brink. UNHCR has sent out an appeal for more tents and caravans for these families that never dreamt they would one day be refugees.